This is Jae-jung Lee, a graduate student at Computational Cognitive Affective Neuroscience Lab at s o n g g y u n g a n University. Pain is one of the most common health issues that cause high socioeconomic costs. In spite of its high importance in basic science and clinical practice, current clinical measures to objectively measure and evaluate the level of pain are surprisingly scarce. Recently, there have been tremendous advances in functional MRI and machine learning techniques that we can use to decode complex human emotions and thoughts based on brain activity patterns. And pain researchers armed with these techniques have been trying to develop a brain-based biomarker for pain. Most of the clinically relevant pain is characterized by its sustained nature. For example, chronic pain lasts longer than six months by definition. However, Most of the existing brain-based pain markers are derived from brief basic pain, such as heat pain that lasts less than a minute. This temporal characteristic of clinical pain is thought to be an underlying reason for well-known differences between experimental basic pain and clinical pain. For example, in terms of their perceptual quality or the underlying neurobiological mechanisms. In the current study, We targeted the sustained nature of pain and aimed to develop a brain-based biomarker for sustained pain using whole brain functional connectivity. We experimentally induced sustained pain in the lab. In other words, experimental tonic pain with the hypothesis that the brain representations of the experimental tonic pain would be similar to clinical pain compared to the experimental basic pain. To induce tonic pain with the required level of safety and effectiveness, we developed a new protocol which uses capsaicin-rich hot sauce, for example, habanero hot sauce or capsaicin concentrate. Capsaicin is a major ingredient of hot chili pepper and activates the trypion channel which transmits nociceptive signal to the ascending pain pathway. In our experiment, we delivered the capsaicin-rich hot sauce on the participant's tongue using a filter paper inducing an oral facial tonic pain. Then, we recorded the participant's brain activity while they were experiencing painful sensation in their mouth for around 10 minutes. This is c h u n g h a n an assistant professor at s o n g g y u n g a n University and a corresponding author of the paper. Here is the filter paper uh, with a small amount of capsaicin-rich hot sauce on it. So, in the real experiment, we ask participants to place this uh, filter paper on the tongue. So, I will give this to Jejun. And our uh, participants lie down in an MRI machine. And please place the capsaicin filter paper. So, we ask participants to put the filter paper in the mouth for 30 seconds. And after that, we ask participants to remove the filter paper. Can you remove the filter paper? And open the mouth and breathe only through the mouth for one minute. This procedure will remove the liquid and settle the capsaicin on a specific area of the tongue. After that, we ask participants to close the, their mouth and that will provide some heat to the tongue and it will induce the painful sensation. In this study, we aim to answer these three research questions. First, can you identify an fMRI-based brain biomarker for tonic pain? In particular, we use the whole brain functional connectivity as info features. Second, can these tonic pain markers also serve as a model explaining clinical pain severity? Third, How similar or distinct are the functional connectivity models in capturing experimental tonic pain, clinical pain, and experimental basic pain? To address these questions, we analyzed six main fMRI datasets plus two supplementary datasets for the development, validation, and independent test of the predictive models. We used the whole brain functional connectivity as input features and developed machine learning models to predict tonic pain ratings. We generated a large number of predictive models with different combinations of features and algorithms and then selected the best model 
based on predefined criteria of performance including sensitivity, specificity, and generalizability. The final best model was then tested on different fMRI datasets of experimental tonic pain, clinical pain, and experimental pace pain. Here is our final model named Tonic Pain Signature or TOPS. These boxes represent the large scale functional brain network membership, and these boxes show the sum of negative or positive weight for each region. The lines among the regions represent the predictive weights. For the first research question, the TOPS demonstrate high levels of sensitivity and specificity to tonic pain across multiple datasets. This plot shows the test results on the independent study 3 dataset. The TOPS track within individual variation in avoidance ratings for tonic pain with significant correlation. In this plot, the black line shows the group average of the actual avoidance ratings, and the red line shows the predicted pain ratings. These two plots show that the TOPS classify the capsaicin condition from other aversive but non-painful conditions with high accuracy. In addition, these are the results from supplementary data too, which is an additional independent test dataset. In this dataset, we deliver the capsaicin twice throughout the run. To deliver the capsaicin requisite multiple times, we use the MR-compatible cost material system. The tops track the ratings with a significant correlation and show two peaks at the time of maximum pain. In addition, the TOPS didn't respond to the bitter taste induced by quinine solution demonstrating its specificity. For the second research question, we tested the TOPS on multiple clinical pain fMRI datasets from a public data repository, openpain.org. The TOPS showed significant prediction for the individual differences in overall pain severity of patients with subacute and chronic back pain, but the performance depended on the test types. For the subacute back pain patients, the model only worked while the patients paid attention to their spontaneous pain, but for the chronic back pain patients, the model showed medium to large effect size for both spontaneous pain rating task and resting state. In addition, the TOPS showed significant classification accuracy for discriminating chronic back pain patients from healthy controls in two additional datasets. When you examine the patterns of predictive ways of the TOPS model, we found the connections between the somatomotor network and frontoparallel networks, suggesting the importance of top-down pain regulatory or coping responses in explaining tonic pain experience, though we need further research to fully understand the implication of this research. Finally, when you compare the network-level representations of tonic, clinical, and experimental basic pain models, the TOPS model showed a similar pattern to the clinical back pain model, here SBP model, but not to the basic pain model, here EPP model. When you examine the differences in predictive weights between the TOPS versus clinical back pain model, they showed comparable predictive weights within the somato motor, dorsal attention, and frontoporeal brain networks suggesting that this top-down attention where executive control brain systems provide the shell brain representations between the experimental tonic and clinical pain. Overall, this study revealed a unique functional brain architecture for sustained pain and provides a brain-based biomarker that holds a potential for clinical translation. To promote further validation and independent test of our signatures across different datasets and different laboratories, we share our model with an agreement for scientific use only, and also we share the functional connectivity data and analysis tutorials with an, through a GitHub repo repository. Thank you for watching the video abstract, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact corresponding authors or me. Thank you.
<웃음> 어, 어벌, 어벌어. 아니 그게 어려워. 거기 어, 약간 어. 약간 어거즈 하다 진짜. 어벌어. 아 좋아요. 어벌어. 이렇게 되게 되게. 어벌, 어벌어. 아니 앞에 무슨 말 하다가 어벌어. 네. 다시 할게요. 어벌어. 아. 어벌어. 어벌어. 어벌어.